my god. We've been watching this for so long. I'm like crying. My eyes are just watering. He is so cute. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Bright sons, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're back at Disneyland. The holidays have begun, but we're not here to celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah. We're here to celebrate a holiday from a galaxy far, far away. It is November 17th, and that means it is Life Day here on Batu. There's a bunch of merchandise celebrating this Star Wars holiday. And there's also a ton of merchandise that's new since the last time we were here. And I think most importantly, there's a bunch of new food items that we get to try today. It's been so long since we've been here. I'm so excited to celebrate Life Day in Batu. Also, we're gonna see the Mandalorian and Baby Grogu for the very first time in Galaxy's Edge, and I cannot wait. So why don't you come with us on this adventure? my magic band for the first time at Disneyland. I think I set it up correctly. We'll see. First timer here. All right. Did it work? Yay! Wow. Oh my gosh, I was like worried. It's also our first time here in Disneyland for this holiday season. All the decorations are up, but we don't care about these Earth holidays today. Galaxy's Edge to celebrate Life Day. 44 years ago, the Star Wars Holiday Special was released. George Lucas has since disavowed it. It is one of those things that's like so bad it's good that it might even be bad again. Uh, but in it, we see Chewbacca and his family in Kashyyyk celebrating Life Day, which is kind of like the Christmas holiday of that planet. So Life Day was never canon in the Star Wars universe. It was just a cheesy TV holiday special but now it's shown up in The Mandalorian and they celebrate it every year here in Galaxy's Edge and they celebrate it for like a whole season. So like the whole Christmas season here is also Life Day in Batuu. Have you seen a Wookiee? Um, I saw him earlier. I think he went that way. Not sure I believe it, but we'll investigate. Thank you. On your way then. Goodbye. They're really looking for a Wookiee on Life Day? Like, of course there's gonna be Wookiees here. They're celebrating. They need to just leave him alone one day out of the year. Just let him have a fun holiday. First up, we're getting our grub on. We're going to Docking Bay 7 because they have a bunch of seasonal food items specifically for Life Day. And what I'm gonna try first is the yolk shrimp mixed stew with swamp greens. This has spicy tomato curry pan roast with shrimp, sausage, vegetables, and herb spice. And in case you didn't know, the yolk shrimp are a creature, a species from Naboo which is one of my favorite planets. And they were mentioned in the Jedi, the Fallen Order video game, and also in Mandalorian season two, but they've never been seen on screen before. They look surprisingly a lot like normal earth shrimp. I will say upon first inspection though, there's only three of those yob shrimp. And this was like $17, just saying. So it better be good. This is surprisingly good. And it has a little bit of a kick to it because it's, it's called a spicy curry. It reminds me almost like a tiki masala, if you've ever had Indian food before. It's very, very good. Very flavorful. I'm honestly surprised. Actually, I shouldn't be surprised because at Docking Bay, the food here is like some of the best food in all of the Disneyland Resort. This probably gets like a four out of five. Who knew that yolk shrimp were so good? And on brand, Kitra got the seafood, I got the beef. I got the Trandoshan style pasta with braised bantha. This is chili braised beef, buttered garlic cavatelli, seasonal vegetables, zesty avocado sauce, and balsamic glaze. The Trandoshans were those like lizard-like creatures. You know, Bosque was one of them. In the Book of Boba Fett, we saw a whole group of Trandoshans. And of course, the mantha are like those elephant furry creatures that the sand people ride. As you know, I love Bantha. They're cute creatures, but they, they're tasty. Too tasty not to eat. Zesty is the right word for that. That avocado sauce mixed with that balsamic glaze. 
just had packs of punch. And these cavatelli noodles are just like alien enough. They've been in some other dishes here at Dock and Bay. I really like them. This braised bantha meat is tender, falls apart in your mouth. It's juicy. This gets a five out of five, Peters. This might be my second favorite thing here to the Dubak chili noodles, which they got rid of. R.I.P. Dubak chili noodles. I don't know why. Why can they only have like five items on this menu here? They used to have like so much. Bring back two back chili meat noodles. Well, just what I thought. We'd run into a scoundrel over here at Docking Bay 7. You mean my droid? <laughs> it's sad. It's Dano! Hey, what's the up, Dano everybody? Channel. Guys, we got a droid meet up. We're doing a little Mubo's Builders Club droid meet up just down the stairs. So what, what time is that? One o'clock. Oh. In two minutes. Two minutes. We let's, gotta get going. Go. Yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs> We got all sorts of droids here. The thing is, they use their Look at the armor droid. I like that BB unit over there. In case you didn't know, our friend Dano has Ubo's Droid Builders Club, where all the most talented people come together with their creative, hand painted, customized Galaxy's Edge droids. And they have meetups every once in a while in Galaxy's Edge, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, he has a Facebook group. You should check it out. It's awesome. These people are so creative. I still want to make my own custom one, but we just haven't done it yet. <laughs> one day. So these are all hand painted. I have ears that match both of my joys. And uh, this is uh, Retro R3 TR0. <laughs> and all the characters on that actually are on the droid in the sound. This enchanted Tiki Room BB unit is also painted by her. This is beautiful. It's got the dual whip and then it's got the four main birds. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so Very cool. Very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> and our friend Ryan always creates droids I don't see anybody else creating. This is Toto. It's Cad Bane's droid from Clone Wars and Bad Batch. And while we were coming into the park today, we learned that Mando and Grogu are debuting tomorrow. So we're going to come back for that right now through the magic of time travel. Just like that, we're back at Disneyland. It's the next day and I'm so excited to see The Mandalorian. And I'm gonna be real with you, I'm more excited to see Grogu. This is something that we have wanted ever since we've watched the very first episode of The Mandalorian. We're like, bring him to Galaxy's Edge. It took a while, but they're here. Mandalorian? Yeah. No, I've seen a, a bounty hunter in Mandalorian armor. New oh no, I'm talking about like, there's one that he has like this green baby. Is there something special about the baby? I mean, he's not really a baby. He's 50 years so old. A bounty hunter is holding a baby. Yes. Well, that baby must be made of Beskar steel. Maybe. Perhaps. Well, keep your eyes peeled. If you see something suspicious, you let us know, yes? I will. For the order! For the order. For the we order! Exactly. exactly. For the order! For the order! I'm so for the order! order. I'm five the order! He's here. He's here. He's here. That's gonna hang on to the side, please. Oh my gosh. This is the way. Oh my god, my little baby! It's their toys! Oh my god! We've been wanting this for so long. I'm like crying. My eyes are just watering. He is so cute. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Dave, what did you think? I, I think he's amazing. I mean, it's a perfect addition to Galaxy's Edge. I don't know what they were waiting for, but I'm glad he's here. He looks great. Mando's great. Grogu's great. Uh, he's like a rock star around Yeah, there. he's a little hard to hear. Can't hear a dang thing. Oh, oh, gosh. Gosh. I was desperate by the little Yoda. <laughs> I'm excited for you. I, yeah, I excited for us. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Janelle? I love it. Did you guys see him? I wonder how can we steal him? I know. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh. I'll tell oh my god. god, hey, you heard nothing. <laughs> you heard nothing. <laughs> no. Grogu has special gifts he's learning to use. I'll bet you do too. I I mean I might. Very good. <laughs> We're moving on, Grogu. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, so good to see you, my sweet baby. Hi. Oh, oh. Hi. Said something about me having special powers, like the child, I think. Right? Yeah, it's hard to hear him underneath that helmet. <laughs> Just every clip is gonna be like, like the baby. Look at his face. Like Are you glad that we like came back, though? <laughs> It's so, it's so cute. Just seeing his eyes and like him moving. It's movie magic. It is. It's so <laughs> nice. Noises. Yeah. And he's like, I can try it. Well, he's like the cuter than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing seeing all these people lined up just to see a Mandalorian. They're lining up to see if they have bounties on their heads. That's funny. I'm like, why would you want to have a bounty on your head? Mando, can I get an image scan of you, like right over there? Let's step back over here. So it seems like Mando makes his way from that point where Boba Fett and Fennec Shan come out all the way over to the Rancor gate. So if he's making his rounds, you're going to want to get in front of him rather than behind him because then you'll have some more time like seeing the baby. Stand back travelers, keep a safe distance. Don't touch Grogu. Like I saw some kids like go to like pet Grogu and like he was quick to like swipe their hand out of the way. So that's definitely something they don't want you to do. Also when he was over at the Rancor door, I was like, can I get an image scan? So he was able to like back up away from all the people and we were able to get like a cool shot of just him in the Rancor door. Would you like to get a hey Mando, I believe this traveler over here has some intel about a bounty. <laughs> so I noticed it's very hard to get photos with Mando. Yeah, I think that's by design. Uh, cast members making a point. Don't try to get into his space. Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll go like this if he wants to, and then you, he'll, he'll bring you out, and you can take a picture with him. Oh, so he has to choose you. Right, he has to choose you. But they say they say if he thinks you have a bounty on your head, you know he'll he'll, he'll call you. But he, they don't want you to just bum rush him. Or try to. They don't even want you to like stand in front of him, as if he's go, if he's going in like in this direction. Yeah. You got to be, you know, on the side, and not in his line of sight. All right. Better safe than breaking something on my ship. I've enjoyed the time. Farewell. Oh my God, Boba Fett and Mando are there together. And now back to Life Day. Happy Life Day. Uh oh. Thank you. You're welcome. We apologize. <laughs> Don't, sir. How I original. Affirmative. <laughs> have you seen supporters of the resistance here? I actually have. If you just keep walking a little bit. They are less helpful than you implied, Trooper. Uh oh. I'm sorry. We're done. Oh no. They said differently earlier, sir. Copy. You took their word and gave me yours. Understood, sir. Two very serious mistakes. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. Come on. Your allegiance is noted. Thank you. I got Do your back. Do not disappoint us. I will. I will. Sir. But it's not helpful. I, it's okay. I'm on your side. Sorry, well, that's a no. <laughs> Our day just got worse. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> you gotta be truthful. He asks the question if there's any resistance people over there. I gotta tell him. You know, I'm dark side today, baby. Okay? Can't always be for the good guys. Not a good idea. <laughs> Did you see when Kylo like put his hand on me? He was so strong. Let's go into Droid Depot. I think they have some new items. When Droid Depot first opened up with their custom build your own droid units, they had a 
bag where you could actually have your droid hang out. They now have a new bag and your, your little guy can, can hang out while you walk around Galaxy's Edge. I wish this Greebly was like not printed on. It was a real 3D thing, but it has like pockets on the side and you can take them out on the top too. Also, there's a bunch of hard padding in there so it keeps your droid from breaking loose because you don't want your droid breaking loose. You have the restraining bolt on them for a reason. And they also have a little chain that you attach to the, your BB unit's head so it doesn't go flying off. I feel like I've never seen this before. It just says BB-8 and it has BB-8 on there. And then I'm guessing that says BB-8 or Droid Depot or something on the back. We found a new hoodie, which is about the same design. It has C-3PO on one side, has an orange pocket on the other. And then on the back, it says, it says protocol. Just... 3PO series <laughs> protocol. And they have a new lined notebook with all the droid heads and, and a, a pen. Yeah, look at the, check out this pen. Coolest pen I've ever seen. $24.99, no way. Let's see what's inside that. Oh, that's why. This cannot be that expensive. Oh, there's Mubo himself. And they have a new series for the kids. Why is everything that's cute for kids and not for adults? Once again. Oh my god, look at the, the sleeves. Yeah. Huh. Most wanted. They're the galaxy's most wanted. And they're also droid friends forever. That's true. I love this entire series. That art style. Yeah. There's even stuff on the back of this one. <laughs> oh, look at that gonk droid. It's so good. He's like, uh oh. This one has a little pocket with chopper coming out of it. And it says C1 series. And they have a bunch of other hoodies in this whole series. Here's BB 8. And there's an R2. It's not pictured on the front of this one, but if we turn it over, there he is. Are these crop tops for kids? I think they are. This Arabesh is on a lot of the new merch. We don't know what it says, so we're gonna use the data pad to translate. Astromech. For some reason, it looks like two words to me, so I think that's why I was confused. Wow. Is this a, I guess it's a placemat, but in my mind, it automatically went to like, I could put the dog's bowls on this. I mean, you could. Should we get that? They have a bunch of new kitchenware stuff, so this is a set of plates. I love this. Thanksgiving's coming up. This would be nice to serve, like, some Thanksgiving meal on it, no? I don't know what Thanksgiving meal is going to fit on that plate. A slice of pie. <laughs> There's also some salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I like those a lot. One is an R series, and the other just says Droid Depot. Okay, the cutest bit of new merchandise here. Wow. Is this it's like all the little heads that you'd find in the Droid Depot when you're making your droid. That is so clever. I like how colorful it is and how it has all the little pieces. Oh my god, look at oh that. Oh my god. Art style that's on the kids' shirts. I want this tattooed on me. Over at Savi's, there's a new set of lightsaber pieces it's for the protection and defense. Theme. Yeah, so when I built my lightsaber, this is the theme that I went with. And all of these pieces are just like an updated style. Oh, I kind of like this. What's going on here? Yeah, that's cool. That's where the blade goes. Yeah, I think all of the the different series are eventually going to all get an upgrade. So once that happens, we're going to have to come back and build another lightsaber, I think. For sure. I do think the finish on these pieces looks a lot better than the previous. Yeah, I like this one. So I think we need to come back and build the two that we don't have before they update all of them so we need, so we can have all of them, you know what I mean? So right now we only have <laughs> elemental and protection and defense. And then we're gonna have to come back and build them yeah. all four again? Yeah, exactly. I'm I don't saying, know. Any day now new pieces could come for the other sets. Like I need power and control and then you need like the Jedi one. I forget what that one's called. No, I want power and control. You do? Yeah. Okay. Over at Ronto's Roasters, they have a new non-alcoholic drink. It's called the Destrin Ice Cap. This is Sprite green apple syrup topped with sweet cream cheese. And Destrin is a reference to Destra, one of the moons of Batu. Strangely, it's never visible from Black Spire Outpost. You can only see one of the moons. But this looks really cool. Question is, does it taste as good as it looks? Cream cheese has been infiltrating the Sprite as we've been reading this. <laughs> Let's see, let's, let's do a little bit of a mix. Ooh. Oh no. It's strange. It's like an apple Sprite 
with it. Cream cheese doesn't really mix well with it. It looks better than it tastes. I'd still give it like a three and a half out of five here. It's good, but there's better drinks to have around but too. This is like insane how much this has expanded while we've been standing here. Ooh, this is good. It just tastes like one of those green apple suckers that you get like for Halloween. They also sell a version of this with a glow cube for like twice the price. So I imagine this would look really cool glowing at night. I get it like a four out of five. I think this is dang good. Just know that it's sweet. And now we're gonna head over to Olga's Cantina because there's supposedly a new snack. This is a quacky lizard monkey. Uh, this is uh, Captain EO. And you might say he's just another part of me. <laughs> oh, it's Sarlacc tentacle. And then I thought about it for How much does it cost? Yeah, five, I'm doing five for 50, and the outer end they're doing, you know, two for 100. Uh, you squeeze it out on your food, instant body cleanse in less than three okay. seconds. Okay, that seems like a good deal. That's a really good deal. Yeah. It's a better deal than what you get in the outer end. Mod size is passport. Hey, two for 100. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. What is your name? My name's Bo. It's nice to meet you, Bo. Guys. Yeah, yeah, how are you guys doing? Yeah, Very great, great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Tell the spire. Tell the spire. Thank you. Yeah. Bright sun's off world. What did he give you? He gave me a. He probably made one of your Batu Bounty Hunters guild. Thank you. That's a guilty pleasure. Thank you. Hey, thank you. We had a great interaction with that guy, so we're going in the Disneyland app and we're going to give him a cast compliment. So you fill that out, goes to them and their manager, and you always like want a reward when, when they go above and beyond. I love when cast members do that and like they make it really feel that immersive. But it's interesting, you don't actually write like your own compliment, it just gives you like a list of like things that you can say. Oh, there you went up. Safety goggles on. Hey, wait a minute, I got a lot of outstanding credits. We need to collect these credits, so I gotta get this. Credit. All right. What makes specialty life day food item inside of Ogus Candina is called the Spice Rocher Pods. This is seasoned edamame, spiced cucumbers, and a spicy citrus gochujang dipping sauce. And the Rocher is actually a type of tree on Chewbacca's home planet of Kashyyyk. So this is perfect for life day. Mm. I think this stuff on top is like a dried garlic. These are very tasty. I like that it's like a nice cool crisp edamame and cucumber and then you dip it in the sauce and it gives you like the spice. I don't know, it's a very good flavor. I like these a lot. They, they probably get like a, a four out of five. Now that we've had a few drinks, let's go to the marketplace and see what we can find Life Day related or just new merch. One thing that I love this year is they're actually selling Life Day robes. These are the iconic red robes that they wear in the special. This is almost like a Snuggie. Like it's super soft and thick. It's a, a fleece throw. So it could be, I guess like a double as a blanket. I think the best thing about this is that it actually says Life Day on it. I always wanted a Snuggie in the 90s. Some of you guys don't remember it. There was these things called Snuggies. And I always want one, but I was too nervous, you know, too self-conscious to ever buy one. But I feel like this is the year of Crocs and it's the year of Snuggies. We're bringing it back, we're bringing the trend. Excuse. This is my excuse. Get this and then, you know, I go over my Crocs with it and I'm all set. Check out this exclusive Chewbacca Life Day Funko Pop. It's the flocked version, so it's like fuzzy. They also have this adorable Chewbacca plushie and he's wearing his red robes. He has his glowing orb. I love this Life Day mug. It actually says Life Day down here and it's shaped like one of the orbs from the holiday special. Oh, look, it's Chewie and his family celebrating together. Celebrating together. <laughs> so they have a female cut tea here. It's a celebrating together. And I think it's is that young Chewbacca and that's his mom. That is, that's adorable. <laughs> look at his little rosy cheeks. He's so happy. It's the best one is for kids. Life Day 2022. How <laughs> oh, cute. Family Joy Harmony. Look at this, we got a Life Day Republic credit from the Galaxy's Edge Explorers. Yeah. 
He'll be giving out gifts to the girls and boys later. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is so cute. Boys and girls. They have that celebrating together design on a red hat, and it says Life Day 2022 on the back. And then also... Yeah, check out this Tumblr. Family Joy Harmony, Life Day 2022. I like that. Me too. One of the most popular things last year was this Life Day ornament. It was 2021 last year, it's now 2022. So it's a little bit different. Over in the Toy Darien Toy Maker, they have a ton of new merchandise, including a bunch of new plushes. Yeah. So right here, there's a Jawa. Pretty cute. The Mandalorian. It's about time. About time. My favorite thing is this. Check this out. It's a little posable, like, wooden figure. You can make him, you know, do whatever you want. Just kind of work it. <laughs> so cute. Oh, that's cool. I actually really want this. I feel like this would be look really good like on my desk. And they also have Hondo and his droid. Yes, working. That's, why do you like to make them dance so much? I don't know. Get just get me the credits. <laughs> And another new addition to the Toy Darien Toy Maker's plushes is Vibe Marathi. Yeah. That's a butt check on Vibe <laughs> Over at Jules of Beth, they also have your Life Day merchandise. But there's also some new things as well. Okay, I'm obsessed with these two new keychains that I found. This one looks like a little Porg and then a little Tauntaun. I feel like you need one of these. I know, but like they're both so cute. I should just get both. Over at the creature stall, they have new pommels for your Sabi sabers. Two that we missed from last time. And they have Ahsoka's bird, the Convor. And they have a Bantha. It's actually interesting, there's a typo here in Arabic that does not say Bantha. What the heck, Disney? And then there's also two new ones that came out today. There's the Crate Dragon that you might remember from The Mandalorian. And then there's my personal favorite, the Kowakian Monkey Lizard. Little salacious crumb looking guy. What's funny is there's actually a typo on these as well. This one says Crate Dragon, and then this one says Spider Monkey. So these are gonna be collector's items because they're they're not correct. <laughs> I just wanted to wish you a happy life day. Oh, a happy life day. Yes. I feel as though uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's I know. We, we haven't been on the planet that much recently, but it's very nice to see you again. I was hoping you celebrate you'd be... life day on your wherever you're from. Well, I celebrate every day. There we go. That's how you got to do it. You got to celebrate every day. I will say that today has been a very festive day. Yes. Well, they're selling some of the red robes right around the corner. We should, you should get one. I think that would look, red's like your color. You got like the red accents. It's it's look good. good. It is a good color. <laughs> it is. Right off the block, of course. Yes, exactly. Yes. The two best. I just realized that we haven't even seen Chewbacca today. This is like the holiday of his people. Hopefully we see him before the night's over. Yeah, I hope so. The sun's about to go down. I was thinking Chewbacca might be over by the Falcon, but not with his first order activity. Over at Kat Saka's Kettle, we're gonna try our final Life Day food item. And this is that Jakuin corn chili and cheese pie. And this is roasted poblano pepper, corn, mozzarella with a citrus dipping sauce. And of course, you know that Jakku is the planet where Rey grew up. It's where we see her in The Force Awakens. I'm kind of disappointed because I was ex kind of expecting this to look like that bread that she makes in The Force Awak Awakens. But this sounds so delicious. They keep making ham pies here. I'm, I'm a fan of it. It's very hot. Like this is like piping hot fresh. Mm. That was like a flavor thermal detonator exploded in my mouth. This is the good stuff. Five out of five. This alone is so flaky and delicious. And the, the stuffing, the filling in there, has like that cheese and chili and just so much flavor. And then you add the citrus dipping sauce, which is so hard to explain. It's like very lime, sour. When you mix them together, it's like a flavor that I've never experienced before. Five out of five, this is good. I wish like I ordered 50 of these. <laughs> Are we gonna do it? Oh, I think we're red robes? Yeah, let's going all in. We're gonna buy red robes. Let's do it. Red are we doing it? Oh my God. Red robes, red robes. Red robes. Are you gonna buy them? Red robes. 
Absolutely will buy one. I'll buy one. You're like, you're like Santa. Snuggy Club. Snuggy Club. Snuggy Club. We somehow talk to all these people when they're getting robes with us. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Wear this in a belt. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know they got this green Everyone's uh, laughing at us now, but we're going to be jealous later when it gets cool. I feel like this isn't a bad idea because usually you buy stuff here and like you can only wear it in Galaxy's Edge. This I could wear it like every day oh at home. All the time. I can't wait. I will wear this every day at home. <laughs> every, to the time, grocery store. every time I wear this, I'm going to tag you all and take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> so every night for the rest of the year. Yeah, exactly. Mark, we talk everybody into buying these robes. You're we doing full red robe. robe. That means you need to come in with, yeah, with us. I'm bounding! Can I at least be a cool guy and bound? I'm bounding! <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you regretting your decision yet? No, never. Never. <laughs> it's long. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's... I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna take my belt off. Oh, that was amazing! I am well, gonna take my belt off. Is there no way to close it in the back? I'm legit gonna right. take my belt okay, off you, and wear it all the How cozy are you, Dan? I'm, I'm so cozy right now. <laughs> the coziest. Oh, it's close to the back. Yeah. But it's just like, yeah. And then it's kind Fashion of icon. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? <laughs> it's as tall as a Wookiee. What side is oh. that? I feel like this is why I went for Chewbacca. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Ah, that's so good. <laughs> it's called fashion. Look it up. <laughs> we ended up tying this in the back, even though it's not supposed to be like that, so that it kind of closes a little bit. What is that, Nick? This is from the. Uh, the oh drink. wait, is it a glow cube? It's from the drink. Yes. Which one? The one at Ronto? The one right Ronto? there, Ronto wraps. Yeah. Oh my so god. I didn't realize it was orb. the shape of an orb. So this is my orb on a bunch of. Dang, we should have got one. Now I regret not getting it. It was like $4 more, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll be worth it at night, because it'll be, yeah. It's a mini one. It looks like a golf ball. <laughs> Fennec, it's not too late. It's not too late to join in. We can get you one. I know a person that sells them. I'll say business has been good in these parts. Yes. Ever since the dime you so I don't think that's a coincidence. <laughs> You'll blend in. <laughs> You'll blend I may just offer a word of advice. I know a thing or two about keeping a low profile, and I will tell you right now. Bright matching colors is all. Yes, but if everybody's wearing the bright natural colors, you will blend in with us. Don't change what you're doing. Dana, we're making great life choices. <laughs> I'm living my best life day life right now. This I love how you like put a belt on oh, it. I, I accessorized already. <laughs> I'm ready to go. It's, it's life day. You gotta go big for life day. Why are you taking it off? Let's use the restroom. I'm not wearing it in the restroom. Like, oh, it opens in the back. Do you think Chewbacca is gonna be wearing a robe tonight? It'd be a big miss if they didn't do it because it's not that expensive and it would set the internet on fire and make all the Disney fans so excited. But Disney lately hasn't had a great track record of going for the easy win. I would say it's not gonna happen, but in my heart I hope that it does. Maybe you should buy a rope for Chewie. <laughs> like, get down and like present it to him. Like, I have brought you this rope. <laughs> Darkness has fallen across the land. And I have a hack here for you. I have a thermal detonator, which I have drank in it fully. I'm gonna turn on my flashlight. Now I have my own orb that I can walk around. That's actually brilliant. Wow. See? That's smart. Sometimes I'm smart. It's funny, I just ran into a cast member here that took the outer wrapping of the thermal detonator off, filled it up with blue water, and used it as a flashlight. So basically she took my idea and did it way better. Oh my god, even Salacious Crumb is here to celebrate Life Day. Okay, so we're making our way over to the Resistance Outpost. That's where the festivities tonight are going to begin. If you are here to celebrate Life Day at Black Spire Outpost, we are relocating from here to the Rancor door in front of the marketplace. We're going to go down there, make sure everyone has lyric sheets so that we can sing carols. 
and between 6.30 and 6.45, we can socialize. I'd like to get everybody into one giant group photo. Chewbacca is supposed to be making his round soon, and I'm hoping that he will take the opportunity to join us for the same photo. Thank you, everybody. Welcome. We'll see you at the Rancor Doors. So we've celebrated Life Day before. We've been here like the day of or the day after, but we've never actually been part of the formal celebrations. So I'm really excited. door and sing the Christmas car the life day carols there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's oh, yeah. go. Woo! I think everyone listens to it. <laughs> it's really cool. I, he grabbed my orb and held it up for everybody. That was awesome. That was awesome. It's cool seeing all these people give Chewbacca gifts. And it's cool that this is like an event that has been created by the fans. Like this isn't something that was created by Disney. And it feels, it feels alive. Group photo with Chewie. Let's do it. Much bigger turnout than Disney was expecting. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is way bigger than last year too. This is awesome. Life Day. Who knew? Like, we're actually celebrating Life Day on Batu for real. Thank you so much. So this is Life Day carols. They're Christmas songs, but with a Star Wars twist. So like, for example, there's one called Snowy the Tauntaun, and it's like Frosty the Snowman. My name is Obi Sean. <laughs> Together with my buddy David, we decided before the very first time we ever left Galaxy's Edge on our very first visit, that Life Day needed to happen here. <laughs> We've been doing it every year that they've allowed us since. And we have no plans of stopping. Yeah. 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 By virtue of the fact that there are so many of you who have come with orbs, with sabers, ready to sing, to celebrate Life Day, wearing red from a scarf to a button to robes, tells me that this is a thing that we all love. Star Wars is still a thing that we like. Woo! It's been 45 years and we're still doing this. Yeah. So, thank you to all of you because Life Day would be nothing if you didn't come celebrate it. If you would turn in your Life Day hymnal, upper left hand corner, back page, Solo, the Corellian <laughs> Smuggler. You know Lando and Hondo and Beckett and Jackson. Wado and Greedo and Yi 
Marketplace around the Droid Depot, past the Cantina to the Millennium Falcon. That's going to be our procession. <laughs> the Force was with us. How do you feel about leading our procession? Good. We're all going to guide on this white saber over here. Come follow me. We're going to set you as our starting point. Everybody, line up single file behind our Droid. I'll say this for an event that is not run by Disney. This is hella organized. It's impressive. It looks like your orb has turned to the dark side. What is, what is going on there? My death day orb. <laughs> That's just wrong. So many people here. Like this line just keeps on going and going and going. It's funny because on the sidelines, people are just like cheering, like it's a parade or a marathon. This is so nerdy, but so cool. How big is the crowd this year compared to last year? More than three times big. It's humongous. There are so many people there. It's the best. This line is the front. So short people on this line, taller people to the back. So I lost Kitra somewhere in this crowd. She's here somewhere. I'm, I'm like next to Dano right now. I'm, I'm trying to be Kitra a Kitra will show up. I'll never live up to her. 
Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Hello. Are you Santa Claus? Yeah. Well, I... <laughs> well, Depends on who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> who else would use a saber like that? If you ask Disney, no. Oh, no. Lights, light him up if you got him. We are going to take a couple of different pictures. We are listening to Jose, who is our cameraman. Feeling with it with it now. Very cozy, cozy. Very, very toasty and cozy. <laughs> <laughs> Just the orbs. Just the orbs. Just the orbs. Just the orbs. Just my half dead orb. Orb. All <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work that way. All right, guys. Oh yeah, it is. Orbs up. Using the light. Like so basically, they did a big group picture. They did one where everybody had their lights up open. They had one with like people just with their orbs. It was fun. It, was, it felt like this was like a real Star Wars community coming together. The only thing I was missing is I wish Chewie had come over here to take the photo with like the photo pass photographers and everybody. But it was cool to see him over there. I think there was way more people than Disney expected showed up. And I think maybe Disney was like, we can't bring out the characters because they you know, security reasons. That's right. I know trouble when I see it. And I'm seeing it. Unusual data pad activity may be monitored. Life Day was so cool. It was so great getting together with all these Star Wars fans. We didn't know almost anybody there, but like we were all together as one. And it was cool seeing Grogu and Mando in Galaxy's Edge. Oh, so awesome. If you get a chance to come to Disneyland, make a stop in Galaxy's Edge to meet the child, you will not be disappointed. I cried. Yeah, we want to see more of that. If you haven't seen our night at Star Wars night here at Disneyland, we saw some interesting characters in Galaxy's Edge and around the park. What's the video right over there? I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Michael, Angelo, Lisa, Keith, and John and Rami. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. And may the force be with you. This is the way. Goodbye. <laughs>